time to update my Twitter status. Ugh, so annoyed that the guy I like never texted me back. While I'm at it, I'll update my Facebook too. Ew, so my ex-boyfriend thinks he's so cool, like seriously, he showed up at the party without even considering that we just broke up last month. What are people thinking? Wait a minute, should I really be posting this? for the Becca Intuitive Glow Lip Gloss. You guys love this so much and so do I. And to enter, all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel here on YouTube and you might as well click that little notification bell while you are at it. By subscribing, you get weekly confidence and relationship videos, awesome giveaways, and best of all, guys, you get to be a part of this amazing love bug community. What is up, everybody? It's Kimberly. Welcome back to my channel. Now, guys, one of the most watched and loved videos that you guys have requested the most on my channel is how to get a guy to like you. So it's been a couple of years since I've done this video, guys. So I wanted to do another one that has even more tips, easier, simpler, more proven ways to actually get a guy to like you. Make sure you watch all the tips right to number 13 because number 13 is actually gonna shock you. This is 13 ways to get a guy to like you. Let's hop right in. <laughs> easy way to get a guy to like you guys, and this one's so good, is to have a devil may care attitude. Now you're probably wondering like, what the heck Kimberly is a devil may care attitude? Someone who has a devil may care personality is usually happy, go lucky, and kind of naturally confident. So when they walk into a room, they kind of have that like je ne sais quoi quality about them. And for some reason, guys like actually go gaga over this personality. So next time you are in a situation with your crush, channel your inner Gigi Hadid so that you can get into that devil Devil may care attitude. The second way to get a guy to like you is to flirt. Now, flirting is one of the most obvious ways to show someone that you're attracted to them or interested. It immediately gets someone to see you as a love interest as opposed to someone who's in the friend zone. And this is one of the top things you can do to get someone to be interested in you. Number three is to touch his skin. Skin to skin contact releases oxytocin, which instantly connects you. This releases all those super feel good hormones that instantly increases arousal. So when you're around your crush, just find a very natural way to touch his skin, whether it's just like playfully touching him on the arm or touching his hand, something super natural and easy, any kind of touch will do. The fourth way to get a guy to like you is to actually hit up his friends. Now, this is not in a romantic way. I just mean to win their approval. If you want a guy to like you, you are gonna need to have the approval of his friends. And I've actually seen examples of people not dating the people that they really liked because the friends didn't approve. Oh, hey. So you're definitely gonna wanna make sure you pay attention to his friends right from the get-go. So being super bubbly, asking them questions, and just getting in their good books in general. You don't with me, so I keep breathing fire. All right, you guys, the fifth way to get a guy to like you, now guys, this one's so interesting, and I've seen it be so effective if you can do it right. When you first meet someone, once you have caught their gaze and they've caught yours, once that initial eye contact has been made, do not give him too much attention. Do not get caught gazing until he actually approaches you. The reason you want to avoid doing this too early on is that looking at them all the time can make you seem like you're too available. Once you've made that initial contact, he's gonna know that he wants to approach you. So you want to appear busy and like you're doing your own thing and super confident and not too readily available. Tip number six is to play a little bit hard to get. Now, I know the last tip was also a little bit hard to get, but this tip is even more so. So once you've established maybe a texting relationship with them, playing a little hard to get is a good thing. It means that you're not always available to them. So for example, if he texts you and you text him back like within two seconds, that just screams, I am so available, I'm here at your beck and call, I have nothing better to do. And that's exactly what you want to avoid in a new relationship. This comes from the goddess of all things relationships, Cher from Clueless. <laughs> As Cher from Clueless says, sometimes you have to show a little skin. This reminds boys of being naked and then they think of sex. Cher, I couldn't have said it better myself. Now, you don't wanna go too crazy on this one, guys. I think showing skin has been shown to increase intimacy and attraction, but I'm personally not a fan of putting it all out there. My best advice is to choose one area of your skin you like the most. And then just kind of play that up when you're around your crush. To get a guy to like you, it's to use the chameleon effect 
to your advantage. Now the chameleon effect is the subconscious connection that's created when you mimic someone's body movement. So for example, if someone takes a sip of their drink and you take a sip at the same time, it helps them feel like they're in sync with you, like their rhythm is the same as yours. And somehow on a psychological level, that makes them think they like you. So if you're walking beside your crush in the hall, try syncing your steps to the same beat. Guys, it's the little subconscious things that do the most, I swear, honestly. Number nine is to tell your crush a secret and choose a really, really good secret because this really works. My second middle name is actually Gertrude. What? No. <laughs> Kimberly and Gertrude Moffat. It implies that you have a connection with them that you just don't have with anyone else. And obviously, I feel that way about you guys, my love bugs, because there is no way I would share that Gertrude is my second middle name if I didn't love you guys. Ten is to watch a scary movie. Now, obviously, guys, I know like watching a movie with someone implies that you're like already on a date or you're at their house or something. So I have more tips for those of you who aren't at that stage after this. But the feeling of fear that's created when you watch a scary movie creates adrenaline. When people feel this adrenaline, they almost always think it's because of the other person who's there and not necessarily the scary movie. So the more scared someone gets when they're with you, the more likely they are to just think they're super attracted to you. I know that's really weird, but it's so true. You guys need to go and try this one, I swear. 11. Guys, this is like probably my most serious tip. It's serious, this is like from me to you. You know that girl on social media who always shares like everything, her life story, you hear about every single day, you hear about every piece of food she ate, you see every single selfie of her. Do not be that girl. We all know a girl like this in our lives. The crush is gonna know that if he breaks your heart or if something happens or if you date him, that you're gonna write all about him on your social media. And that's a huge turn off. 12. The 12th way to get a guy to like you. Guys, this one's really good. It's to give a subtle compliment. But try to avoid complimenting him about his looks or something physical. Wow, I can't believe you read that entire series in two weeks. Like, it took me like a month to do. So impressive. I guess I'm a, I'm a fast reader. Compliments like that work because they show that you're actually thinking about the other person's strengths and their personality. And that really intrigues people to get to know you on a deeper level. All right, guys, the final tip to getting a guy to like you, number 13, I feel like this is going to shock you. I'm really sorry if this shocks you, but it has to be done. Tip number 13, final tip, guys, is to give another guy the time of day. There are gonna be some guys out there that are like, no, that is the worst thing you can do, but let's just be real for a second here. Before you are in a committed, long-term relationship with someone, there is a courting period, and during that courting period, you are allowed to talk to whoever you want. You don't have to be flirting, you could just be talking to someone and laughing and having a great time. If he feels any sense of attraction to you, even if he's not a possessive or controlling guy, he is going to want to protect what you have already created with him. He is gonna get involved, he's gonna be jealous. And this jealousy is a good thing because it makes him want to take steps to further that relationship with you and actually realize how much he actually cares about you. Guys, I really hope you love this video so much. I hope your situation with your crush works out super well and I would love to hear your stories and your love situations in the comments below. Don't forget to enter the giveaway for the Becca Liptuitive Lip Gloss by being subscribed to my channel. And guys, I will see you all next week for another video all about relationships. Bye.